Then you can't know it left me my grow Living in one unity, the most I said so Don't look down on where the friend will go Did you book by the cover, you've already lost the show What's up guys? This is Sydney from the Kaya and we are hanging out here on a nice chilly winter day and it's kind of a special interview for Bridging the Gap. I am here with Taylor from the Kaya. What up? What's up, dude? <laughs> well, let's go ahead and let's give, you know, the fans your, you know, he's the founder. Um, so what, you know, how did the Kaya come to be? Um, basically in, I guess, about 2013, I kind of refueled my love for reggae which i hadn't had in, a, in quite a long time um, probably about five six years just hadn't listened to reggae music and started listening to some of the local bands that were around here and they were good and all that and then california roots actually brought carolina sessions to us in 2013 yes. and uh, i had some great artists soja dirty heads tribal seeds and onco um signal fire opened the whole thing up i mean it was it was just a really cool thing to see it brought to wilmington and after that, I started street teaming, you know, doing stuff like that. Um, but I really didn't, the East Coast scene wasn't popping like it was out West from what I could tell, you know, social media, stuff like that. So I went to California to that Cali Roots that year. And um, it was pretty damn cool. Like the scene over there is so much different as far as the, like the community. It's, it's where here, you have the same, you know, people you see at every show. We're right. like a little family, <laughs> but over there, there's so many more of them, and they're it's all massive. yeah. It's it is. It's a massive thing, and they're all on the same break, uh, like wavelength and all that, and they they just they they feel it. It feels real over there. It feels like it's not reggae music where one out of ten listens to it out here. Everybody knows right. reggae music over there, and that's. Uh, it's been a really cool thing to see grow. So with that, I came back to the East Coast and I saw that, you know, the West Coast has promotions, they push it. The East Coast has nothing like that. And so from that, I was like, let's start doing that. And with it, I built it and through street team. And then we moved up to interviews, stuff like that. Um, then I found you and Eric Benner and who's been like my right hand and, and we've been rolling ever since. So it's, uh, it's pretty exciting, the media and the stuff that we're putting out now and the festivals and, and we're really growing as a team. And I think that, you know, it's definitely something that the East Coast needed, but we're doing it. It's a passion project. It's something we love to do. And that's why I'm personally here. You know, that's right. why to me, the reggae scene is it's not because it's a music that's popular. Obviously, it's because it's something that it pushes a positive thing and it, it's, it's about what's right. It's not about you know just whatever sells or what's big or popular at the moment yeah i like that you know just every song kind of just makes a point to have a message you know yeah, absolutely. and i think it, it gives people you know a purpose you know when they come here and they're you know meeting people they've never you know but they're dancing you know and just absolutely raging out oh, yeah. and uh i think that's been the coolest thing you know just getting to see that like growth and like especially like the local bands here oh, yeah. you know just getting to see them kind of well, even the southeast evolve. scene I mean, yeah we've got we got so many different bands from and the sounds are so different from like you know wilmington we've got our own vibe obviously we're kind of beachy but then you go to charlotte and like i've good nature and people like that holding it down with more of a rocky pace and yeah then, you know even in tennessee roots of rebellion like it's crazy just depending on yeah, just depending on <laughs> where they're at. You know, they're you know, this it's still the same message and the same music, but it's got its own twist and its own like vibe to it, you know, which is a really cool thing. Yeah. Uh what kind of bands got you into reggae music? I mean, obviously anyone who loves reggae I, I listen to a lot of Bob Marley starting out, but from That's that, what the Kaya's name, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, from the song and the and the whole album actually. But um I've I mean Soja was a huge band. Like I remember seeing them play Soapbox it was like, you know, fifty people in the crowd and they were just starting up and then when I in two thousand thirteen when I caught them at Carolina Sessions here they were killing it and I was like there's Dude, no way this crazy. is the same band yeah I was like it there's was, no way this is the same wild. band yeah but um they're I mean they killed it and like tribal seeds I, I've always liked a lot of the more rootsy like I like the Jamaican style like even the expanders in California they're so cool because they keep that like that true Jamaican reggae sound in their music but they're an American reggae band so it's it's very neat to hear that twist on it yeah 
it's cool to kind of see different bands take um, on, you know, their perception of reggae music. And, oh, absolutely. Um, we've kind of been able to, you know, have our hand in a couple festivals now. Do you have a, fevri- or a favorite memory from them? That's a tough Where question. to begin? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we've had some really There's good front times. Button, I think that's... <laughs> um, I really don't know. I mean, I would say that, that some of my favorite moments definitely come from Surrounded by the Sound. Um, what Zach Fowler and his whole crew do is unbelievable for the reggae scene, and they've always been like, you know, there's really cool down, downhearted people. Right. And so it's, it's awesome to be around them. And like, I think just meeting people like that and honestly becoming closer to them in those festival moments where you really get to hang out and enjoy the same music and you're not, you know, you're, you're there kind of working, but kind of not, you know, you're, you're, in, you're enjoying what you're doing. So it's yeah. not really work. You're just, you're having fun with your friends and we're all together for that moment. And that's, it's cool to see everyone we see through the whole year in one spot right. for, for three yeah. days. You know, that, that's it's a huge you that's know, a reunion really party. Thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it gives people an excuse to, you know, go get dirty in the woods for oh, a yeah. couple of days. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. Yeah. Right. So what are uh, the goals for 2019 for the Kaya? Uh, I think we just, you know, we want to keep growing. We want to get more bands that we haven't seen, haven't talked to, and, you know, be around more people, grow our, our community and, and who knows about us. Um, we're definitely, you know, trying to get more festivals, get into the deeper into the scene, and do more for the fans. I mean, that's that's our bottom dollar is keeping people that love reggae music close to the musicians that they love. And so, I think that we can do that. I mean, the more we do that, the better off we'll be. So, Heck yeah. as a whole, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, hard or soft tacos? I'm definitely a soft taco person. Yeah. Yeah. Ding. Yeah. Ding for soft tacos. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you know the drill. Shout out all the social medias for all the Kaya fam. Check out the Kaya fam. <laughs> just the Kaya media on everything. The Kaya on Facebook. Uh, check out our YouTube page. Definitely subscribe to subscribe. our YouTube page. We've got stuff coming out all the time. Uh, we've got stuff popping up that's not even scheduled to go out. It's just going to come out sometimes. And so it's going to be a crazy yeah, year. Keep up with this. It's it. worth it, I promise. Yeah. That, so, hell yeah. Well, y'all, thanks for hanging out with us again. This has been another episode of Bird in the Gap, and we hope to see you guys next time. Peace out, Cafe. Hey, don't talk about my crotch. Rocks are the best shoe there has ever been. Don't knock it till you try it, that's all I'm saying.